Abrutinib has transformed management for patients with chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Patients with uh, frontline and relapsed refractory disease do better on abrutinib than many of the other therapies we've, we've ever had previously. That having been said, those patients with high risk genetic features such as loss of chromosome 17p, 11q, or have mutations in the TP53 protein do less well on abrutinib than their counterparts. Improving clinical outcomes amongst this population remains an unmet medical need, and that was the uh, intent of this study, was to show that we could improve uh, uh, clinical outcomes for these patients. In this study, uh, patients were randomized one-to-one -to, -one to receive either abrutinib or abrutinib in combination with ubilituximab. Uh, the primary endpoints of the study, as originally designed, were to have both overall response rate and progression-free survival as co-primary endpoints. Because of some challenges in uh, enrolling patients with a commercial drug supply of abrutinib, we found actually enrollment to be m more difficult, and so the protocol was modified to be a um, uh, primary endpoint of overall response rate and no longer powered for progression-free survival. So with the modified protocol, we met our primary endpoint of improved overall response rates. Um, if you use the IWCLL 2008 criteria, uh, that was 75% uh, versus 48%. And if you use the updated criteria, uh, I believe it was 82% versus 59%, both of which were statistically significant. Um, patients on the experimental arm uh, had complete responses that were not seen in the control arm, and minimal residual disease negativity was also seen almost exclusively in the experimental arm.